Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing a house. Now, this is a pixel art horror game in the style of Undertale and Mr. Hop's Playhouse and stuff like that, and quite a few of you have been asking me to check this out for a while now, so I thought, let's finally do it, let's play house on the channel. If I enjoy the game, I'll check out all the secrets and different endings of the game, because I've heard there are five or six different endings to this game, and also we might do a story explained video on it as well, if the story's interesting enough for that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to check this out, but to start with, we're going to do the playthrough today. Day. As you can see, we've got a little girl asleep in bed, and it says wake up underneath, so I'm going to press the button on my controller, and we're going to be brought into the game. And there we go. And it seamlessly transitioned as well, that's pretty cool. So you can see we've got a TV here, which we can turn on. There we go. What's this over here? Is that like a, a toy dog or something? This is how I run. Okay, I can hold a button down to run and I have a stamina bar, so that's something worth noting. It says read. Let's read the book. Moving day. Ever since the move, I sometimes can't tell if I'm awake or dreaming. The days are starting to blur together. I guess we collect up these different pages in the diary and then we get more like story information and stuff as we go. So for now, we know that this girl has moved recently and the days are starting to blur together for her, so cool. Hold X to sprints. Okay, let's go and speak to the mom. Sorry about the noise, she says. Is that all she says? Yeah, sorry about the noise. Okay, that's cool, mom. Oh, she's she's going somewhere now. Maybe we just follow her. I don't have any appetite, but I'll make something for you. Okay, so we're going to the kitchen for food. Wait, is this our little cat? Looks like it. Meow. That's all cats do, really, isn't it? Uh, oh, look, we can pick up a bowling ball and drop it. Nice. I don't like how those lights are, like, flickering, though. So we're in the kitchen. Um, let's talk to the mom again. Have you met the neighbour? She's very flexible. What, is she into, like, yoga or something? Is she a trapezist or something? I don't know. An acrobat? What's in the fridge? Okay, we can pick up the milk and pour it. Do we want to pour the milk, though? I don't know. We just poured some milk on the ground. That's probably wasteful, right? Oh, I just fell over on the milk. Okay. So that means that, like, we can make things slip over by pouring milk on the ground. Or pouring any liquid on the ground. Probably shouldn't have wasted that. Maybe we can have frog legs for dinner, she says. Hmm. Oh, no! She just slipped over. Was that my fault? Is she okay? Wait, is that blood by her head? What the hell? I think she's died, guys. I think she's actually slipped, or at least got a concussion. Are you okay, Mom? Can we wake you up? Oh my god. What's that at the window, guys? What is that? Okay, that is freaky. What the heck? Can we speak to it? Oh, hello, young lady. I was just peeping a little. Is this a next door neighbour that's really flexible? It's like the teacher from Little Nightmares 2 or something. I smelled blood and thought something may be wrong. There's always something interesting going on here. And you seem to be in a predicament. It's a shame about your sister. She's been a bit depressed. She needs her big sister now more than ever. Keep an eye on her and make her feel safe. Protect her. Um, okay. So where's our sister? This is really freaky. Can I, um... Oh, I slipped again on my milk. Can I leave here? Nope. This took a dark turn fast. Oh, what the heck was that? Wait, is the mom trying to get us? Okay, I'm getting the key, I'm getting the key, I'm getting the key. Go, 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 go! Wow, that's freaky. Is she gonna follow us in here? What the heck? There's like a giant rat! Are you guys kidding me? Oh no, she got us! Swing! Escape! 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 I can't do anything! Ooh! Wow, okay. So she just cuts our head clean off. Game over. Try again. That's weird. So it's like the house came to life with like monsters instantly. We had this giant rat chasing us when we unlocked the cellar. We had like the mom chasing us. I got no idea what I'm trying to do here. 
So we have to begin the cycle all over again. Still no more pages in the diary. This is an interesting concept for a game, I've got to say. This time, is the mom here? No. That's locked. Let's see which doors we can go through. Is this our sister here? Maybe it is, right? She's asleep by the look of it. Can we tur turn on the light and wake her? Let's have a look. I don't think we can. Let's go back out then. Okay, there's the mom again. She's boarding up that room. It's like, why would she be doing that? I never thought about that first time we saw this. Wait, there's like a ghost there. Have you seen this, guys? Like a spirit walking about. That's really weird. I'm going to go through the door here. Here's the bathroom. New journal entry. You can flush the toilet. I'm going to go and check out the journal entry. Oh my god, we've got like a centipede in here on the bed. Is that going to try and get us? I want to just read the journal. The toilet. There's something in there. I can hear it whispering to me. It wants me to do horrible things. Maybe it will stop if I listen. Oh, here's our sister, I think. Let me go Let me go over to her and speak to her. I hate what he did. What are we talking about here? I hate these walls. I hate frogs. I, that's interesting, isn't it? Because the mom was making frog's legs. I hate this room. Hmm. I hate my life. Alright. Bit morbid. Now she's playing the piano. Toby loved this song. Who's Toby? Alright. As long as you're not summoning anyone. What is this thing? It's very interesting, like... I have no idea what's going on at the moment, but I'm intrigued by it. Can we leave the house? No. Can we get this cat to move? Nope. Okay. Oh no, the mum fell over. Okay, so she's gonna get up soon. I'm gonna get the milk, actually. There we go. Let's see if she'll slip over on the milk. Let's go through here. We're on a timer now. You can hear the timer. Wait, the rug is moving. What the heck? Am I meant to... I was going to say, am I meant to not stand on that rug? I think the answer to that question is a resounding no. Do not stand on that rug. It's, this is so strange because it's like we just keep continuing. There's like no real penalty for dying, but what we do have when we die, obviously, is to start again. We still keep all our diary entries as well. And look, there's frogs on the TV. There's something about frogs in this game, but it seems to hold to great importance. I really want to know why we can't go in that door, and I also want to know why it jumps like that when we click on it. Wait, maybe we can get to the door. Maybe we can drop this on the cat. Oh, we can. That's horrible. So we can actually get the cat straight away. All right. Oh, there's the giant rats. Let's run. I don't know what we've just picked up here, by the way. Like, what is this that we've got? Oh, it's an axe. Nice. Right, I'm going to go to the room, guys. I'm going to see if we can actually... Wait, what's this kitty head doing here? And that picture's upside down now. Strange. I'm going to see if we can kill the thing in here with the axe. Let's see if we can get the... Uh... Oh no, he got us! I was going to see if I could break the bed and then get that like centipede thing from underneath it. Also, I just noticed on the TV, guys, there was like these images of like people on it suddenly in black and white that looked a bit like our family members. This game is so interesting. Like every time I play a new cycle on it, We've got a new journal entry as well. Dying. At first it hurt, but I'm starting to not feel it. I can't even tell what's real anymore. I've woken up on the same day three times now. Okay. It's kind of like a roguelite, isn't it? You know, those kind of roguelite games where um, 
it does set you back to the beginning of the game each time you die, but you sort of learn more about the game as, and sort of understand how to better progress and stuff. Which I quite like as a concept, you know. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to do the same thing once again, where we take the ball here, we unfortunately have to do that to the cats, which of course we'd never do in real life. Like I really like cats in real life, so I definitely wouldn't be doing that in real life. Oh, we're so close to being killed by it. That's close, that's close. Okay, let's go. Hopefully that doesn't follow us out. Is there anything we can do with the axe now? Like we, yeah, there we go, we can hit that. And what's, what have we got there? Items, let's have a look, we got an axe. What did we just pick up then? Is there any way we can stop that water from, um, you know, from dripping? She says put that back in the basement as well with the axe, like hell no. I've got the milk. I feel like it's important to take the milk. I want to clean that mess up so that the mom doesn't slip over, you know? Okay, the mom slipped over now. I hate that axe. Why do you hate the axe? Can we kill the sister with it? <gasps> we actually can. Um, yeah, that was... I didn't know that it would let us do that. That's kind of harsh. Wow. So, is the sister going to come to life as well now? I don't know. I don't think we can even do anything, right? What's happening? What is happening? I'm just going to hang around for a little bit. We can hear the time has gone off, so that means the mom's probably... Wait, there's the cat as well. So we've killed the demonic cat. Okay. Go! Oh, I don't understand how we meant to sneak past that. Unless we can hit it with the axe. I'm just going to keep going with this game, you know? I'm intrigued to see where uh, the story goes each time. I want to see if we can break these boards with the axe. Look, we turn that light off and weird music starts playing. Anyway, I'm going to break the boards. We're in the... Oh, we're in the room now. Sweet. Okay. We're in the parents' room. Wait, maybe we put the light on. That's better. Now, the question is, how do we get to that uh, cellar door? There's a secret cellar door there. <gasps> We've got a shotgun. LB and RB to cycle between items. We've got a shotgun, and we can shoot. Sweet. Nice. Okay. For now, I don't know if we want to do that. We need to discover a way to get that rug out of the way. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, let's go. We made it past it. Good. There's the cat, the demonic cat. Oh, she got us. That's annoying. I don't know how we're meant to get past that rug, you know? Like, we can't pull the rug to get down to the basement. There's got to be a way, though. I'm thinking what we do with a shotgun is use it to take down the rat in the basement, yeah? So, we've got the shotgun, we've got the shotgun shell. I also want to see if I can drop this bowling ball on the trapdoor here. But yeah, we can, nice. But wait, what is this body, though? Is this for Dad? There's like a dead body in here, what the heck? So wait, is, did the mum do something to the dad and hide the body? Oh my god, what's that noise? What the heck is that? Run. Holy crap. What was that? That was like... That's like a proper nightmare creature. I think as soon as we come up from the basement, we gotta, tr we gotta run for that door. We gotta book it double time, you know? This is so interesting, guys. I love this game. I'm so glad I checked this out. So thanks to all of you who were saying to check this game out. We got Toby here as well. We got a new diary entry. Melody hasn't been the same since it happened. Mother tries to pretend it didn't. I can still smell him rotting through the house. So that guy must have been Toby. That's so strange. Okay. Okay, guys, I've actually got an idea. Um, basically, as you know, the mum slips over, right? On the water. So what I'm thinking is that... 
we, um, sorry about that cat. What I'm thinking is what we do is we open this, get the bucket, run back, look, over here. And put the bucket down where the drip is. There you go. And will that catch the water now so she won't slip over anymore? Yeah, look, it does. It's actually working. So now the mother shouldn't slip over. So there she is, she's going over to prepare the frog's legs. I'm actually gonna go get the axe now from this room. There's also something on that shelf, but I just don't know what that is. Run, run from the rat. Nice. I'm actually gonna see if we can shoot the rat and kill that thing. Girls, I made sandwiches. So we just got interrupted by this cutscene. Come and eat, so that's changed now, you see, because we put the bucket down. And we got the rats, nice. So we've actually made a difference now. Hopefully we can use this room now, you see. So that's pretty awesome. Oh my God, the cat. What the heck is that? Oh no, our sister died. Should I have told her about the sandwiches being made? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, there's the sort of demon cat. I'm really scared. I'm gonna go kill it. There we go. Now let's talk to our mom. You've been in the basement, hmm? Careful for the rats in there. Yeah, you could have told us that beforehand. We've already taken care of the rats now. So, I've got frog's legs. I don't know what we do with the frog's legs, but we've got them. Oh wow, we need to put the fire out. We need to put the fire out. We need to put the fire out. Um, quick, 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 quick. Pick up. Come on, come on, come on. Quick. Oh my god, there's a thing coming after us. What the heck is that? Ah! Oh. No! It's like a freaking spirit. Come on. Can we not go? We can't go in anymore. We needed to put the fire out before then. This is really bad and now we've got a spirit chasing us as well. Oh no, we've got this thing as well. Okay, this is really bad. This is really, really bad now. But the rug we avoided. Is there anything we can do in this room? I can't turn the light on. Okay, this is bad. I don't know what's happening now, guys. Daddy's home. What? The dad's got home. Okay. What's he gonna do? This music is really freaky. Um, can I go to bed? Is there anything I can do? I don't know. Wow, he's coming for us. Holy crap, okay. Just straight through the eye, huh? So, the dad is alive. That person in the basement was not the dad, it was someone else. Wow, this game is so nuts. Like, I just don't quite get it. Dad came home, and he got us. We did save the mother. There's so much to, like, memorize each time. I want to read this. We still haven't got an entry for the dad. Okay, we've got a shotgun. Now we're going to kill this rat. Got it. Sweet. I wonder if there's any way to get that thing off the shelf as well. Let's see what my mum's doing. My mum's just prepared food. Girls, I made sandwiches. Come and eat. Okay. So we just got to tell... Oh, actually, we should also pick up this bucket of water. And we should go and tell our sister about the sandwiches being ready. Oh no! We got killed by the cat! No! The cat was in there! I wonder if the idea is, in this game, to like, kill as few things as possible, because the more things that die, the more, like, monsters are in the house. So if we can find a way not to kill the cat, like, maybe you get the milk, put the milk down so we don't have to kill the cat, and then we can get the key peacefully, which means that we wouldn't then need to have that cat waiting for us. It's very cool, I like this. Let's just try this again, but this time we're gonna try and lure the cat away from its basket. Okay, so let's pull the milk out. There you go, cat. Get the milk. Cat's asleep. Ugh. 
Come on. Are you kidding me? I just poured milk for you. It doesn't work, guys. Uh, oh yeah, it is, it is, it's, it's going. Cool. Nice. So now, we can get this. Hopefully we can stop the mom from slipping still. I don't know, guys. I don't. I have a feeling that it's too late. Hopefully she doesn't slip. I don't know. We've done all we can do. Now we're gonna go and get the axe. From over here. I'm gonna walk over so that I don't slip. Okay, go. Ooh, that was close. Nice. I like that we've kept a cat alive this time. This is good. Oh, what the heck is that? It's a snail. Oh, a little girl and an adorable one at that. My name is Marty. I'm a snail. You smell like you're having a hard time. Would you like some help? Uh, sure. I'll pick it up. So he's going to walk around and give us some help. That's kind of cool. Now, we need to get into the bedroom quick. So we need to use the axe to hack this down so we can get the shotgun. Also should drop the bowling ball on here. Turn the light on. Is there anything we need to do in here? I don't know. I don't think so. Girls, I made sandwiches. Come and eat. Okay, so we need to go upstairs. Sort of double time. Get the sandwiches. I'm going to see if I can actually protect our sister this time. I hate snails more than I hate father. Oh my god, she's dead. Okay. Well, at least we put the fire out. Great. Well, that didn't work. I'm interested to see what happens when the sort of dad comes home, you know, now that we've got the mother still alive, you know. Tabby, can you talk to snails? Tell him I need more wine. Oh, she's passed out. Great. So she's drank too much wine. Hello again, honey. Seems like you're under the curse of this house. I've seen dozens of families move in. None of them were as cute as you, though. You're a strong young girl. I'm sure you'll find a way out. Your sister is pure of heart. The house has her in its icy grip. She can't fight back. You must guide her to safety. Ah, so it's the sister we need to help. It's the sister that we need to help, so how are we going to do that? Wait, all the pictures have gone. It's really weird. Oh, that was close. Is there anything we can do here? Oh, what's this? Daddy will be home soon. Will you hold me? I'll hold it, yeah, sure. Um... Oh no, the thing under the bed got us. I completely forgot about the centipede thing living under the bed. Let's try again. Let's see what we can do this time. I am, like, getting a little bit further into the story with each time we play, guys. Like, we know we can pick up this doll at some point now when it comes to life. And I'm gonna, like, have a look around and see what other things I can use the axe on as well. Because I feel like we should probably be able to chop more stuff than we are at the moment. Oh, I just dropped it. Uh, let me get the milk as well. We're gonna try and give this to a cat straight away, I think. There you go, have that milk, cats. We're going to take your key, thank you very much for the key. And um, we'll unlock this door. Get this. I wonder if we can as well like get the axe at the same time, so we don't have to keep like, you know, running back through this. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's go. Nice. Now let's go and... Chop this thing, get the shotgun shell. I think your mom has a drinking problem, says the snail. I would agree with that. I would be inclined to agree with that, snail. I do want to pick up that shotgun shell, though. Thank you very much. So, mom's going in here. Oh no, we haven't got the bucket. We haven't used the bucket yet. We've got to use the bucket here so she doesn't slip. 
Okay, that's good. That's working. Now let's go into the bedroom. We need to get the shotgun early this time so that that thing doesn't get us. So let's swing it. Here we go. Get the shotgun. I'm also going to have a look down here and see if we can do anything with the axe on this guy. Yes, we can. What did we get then? What is this? Wait, let me have a look. Items. Ooh, a slingshot. That's what we just got. Wait, I bet we can use the slingshot on this thing to destroy the piano before she gets to it, right? Yeah, we can. But obviously we wanted to do that when our sister wasn't sat there. So now we know how to get past that part, guys. Even though we just killed the sister by accident. It's a trial and error thing, you know? It's a trial and error thing. I'm going to just put the fire out right away. The cat goes in there as well, though. I don't know if that has some kind of meaning. I'm going to put the bucket back there. We have got the shotgun, right? We always kill this rat, but I'm wondering if we can feed it instead. Yeah, we fed it. Okay. Is it safe to approach it? Sorry about the window. So it actually becomes friendly. Wait, that's a bad guy. That is a bad guy. Okay, that's bad. I just want to speak to the rat. Can I go back and speak to him? Nope. Will the rat say anything else? Sorry I came at you like that. Rat's gotta eat, you know? <laughs> Can you leave out the pickles next time? I don't think he does anything. It's very warm in here. You guys should fix the air conditioning. I much prefer the taste of a turkey sandwich to a human. Alright, so he, he did, we just sort of save him. I wonder if we can actually use a shotgun on this shelf as well, you know, like, um, not a shotgun, the slingshot. There we go. Oh, we got another shotgun shell. Sweet. Does that mean we can use that on the dad when he comes home? Oh, we got the spirit after us again. Okay, um, I don't know what to do now. The rug's just gone. We should have two shotgun shells, which is really good, because we haven't wasted one on the rat yet. We can destroy the toilet. That's good to know. Okay. Don't know why I'd want to do that. But, never mind. Daddy's home. Oh, no. All right, well, tell you what. Daddy may be home, but he's not going to get us. Right, here we go. Boom. We actually got him. And again. Boom. Okay. He's still coming at us. Oh, wow. Okay. So the dad got us, but we did take him down to the head. Now, I'm wondering, is there another shotgun shell hidden somewhere around the house? Or can we hit that head with the axe or maybe just avoid him until he dies or something i don't know but that's really interesting guys we've actually like got a bit further even at this late stage i think for today guys i'm gonna end it there i have been recording for a while we've sort of started to really figure this thing out i think what i might like to do because it seems like this game has different endings and stuff is play it on my own time and then make a video for you guys showing you all the different endings and situations that you can get into throughout the game so that way you know you will see like basically all the game has to offer so i think i'm gonna do that for you guys because i'm really enjoying this We've got quite a few different endings already. I think they're like not proper endings, but you know, we've seen how things can play out. And yeah, I'll follow this up with a video looking at the endings in the next few days and the secrets of the game. And then maybe I'll look at the story as well. But I hope you enjoyed this little playthrough video of House today. And if you did, remember to leave a like down below, comment of course, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.